you knocked somebody out for Shaq before, right? Oh, oh yeah, Shaq. So um, it was when Shaq was playing for the Lakers. So uh, some dude was talking to Shaq or whatever. He like he was like, uh, "Can you cuss on this thing?" Go for it. Go for it. Okay, no. Nah, nah, well, he was like, he was like, "Fuck Shaq, nigga can't shoot free throws and." You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you doing out in LA? And whoopty, uh, just talking all this shit, trash talking to Shaq. So I'm walking with, Sha I'm with Shaq, and I'm just minding my business again. And for some reason, this motherfucker asked me, "Tell that nigga." I said, "Tell him what?" I said, "That's my people." He was like, he was like, telling me, telling me ain't shit. And I just fired on him. It wasn't. It was. I hit him with a three piece, something like that. <laughs> all right, a quick three piece show. Yeah. Something like. Something like some some like just to get the get the energy together. <laughs> oh shit, man! So what happened after that? After you hit him with the three piece? Uh, after that, after I, after I, after I after that, um, he got uh took him away. He, you know they they took him they took him away. He was he was a little injured, so they you know they moved him out the way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh... then uh, and me and Shaq Shaq always say he Shaq always said you know man I never for I never uh. I'll never forget that moment you had my back, man. I, he was like, thanks, man, I owe you. And I was like, no, nah, you don't really owe me nothing, but we just been cool. And that we, we talk about it from time to time. Every time we see each other, we bring it up. When you approach with certain jargon, it takes a lot. It's different when ain't nobody saying that. When you, hey, nigga, what's the cuss? It's like, oh, shit, every, every, everything you learn, everything you think you know how to do when a nigga with a carter, ah, and it's, oh, shit, everything is different. You know what I'm saying? Like you can you can do everything with the punching bag, everything be cool, but when those real situations come, it's just totally different. Cause I I grew up when somebody say where you from. That's a real that's a real term. Hey hey hey, my nigga, where you from? Like damn, like you got to know how to answer that. What advice would you give somebody that comes to L.A.? You being in L.A., you been here your whole life. What advice would you give somebody on how to stay safe in L.A.? Just 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 stay out the way. Stay out the way. Play defense. A lot of people like to me, life is about defense. Like you just gotta you 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 it's like read the play, see what's going on. You can look at something and be like, no, nah, this don't feel right. And sometimes just you, you gotta have it's like, it's all about your judgment. You know what I mean? Like I've been in LA. I I've been to the stocker, liquor store stocker bank on 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 I've been there probably like three times my whole life. Because I know that I don't feel right over there. You know what I mean? Like you and I'm from LA, so it's certain places you go that you you just don't feel right. You know when you go to the jungle, it's one way in and one way out. Every time I see the way that that gray brownish building look, I just don't feel right. It just you just like man, this ain't this ain't cool. You know what I mean? So you you just gotta know your surroundings and know where you are, and you'll be and you'll be fine. You but you can't just come to LA thinking you can have all your chains on and. And just and and not be on defense with no security, or you just out there because I'm just because everything just look like ain't nothing happening until it's happening. <laughs> everything like you like ain't nobody around, and then but what they don't understand, people already got your information. I know people be having walk talk, they just pulled in just now like that. It, it's yeah, it's different. Damn. Shit. Walkie talkies and shit, they communicate. Yeah, what, what, yeah, because one of my one of my one of my one of my a long time ago, this this um the basketball player, Jermaine O'Neal, he was somewhere and um it was it, it, it could have been it could have went bad. And my boy, the people that I know of, he was like, I know you saved him. Because I seen the play coming and I didn't want him to get hurt. The Jermaine. I I was like, hey man, you need to they on walkie talkies and shit, niggas is trying to figure this out, man. So I just was like, nah, I, I, I seen the play coming. I was like, nah. Then they was trying to line them up, yo? Yeah. So I was just, you know, I was like, nah, this ain't cool, bro. Like, go on and get your uh your male diner uh pancakes to go. It's over. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Damn man, that's a wild story. So you saved him from pretty much getting robbed then? Yeah, it was, it was, man. <clears throat> L.A. was L.A. is is L.A. is what Pac say. Everybody think it's about girl and bit. Like it ain't like that. It 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 a flip real fast. It's real sneaky. L.A. real. It just happened all out of the. It'd be like, nigga, what am I? What just happened? 